Uh, guys? So, uh... We have Nightmare Difficulty. What's my final rank for that one? 113, 170, 272. Okay, we have Nightmare Mode. I'm crazy! Okay, so this time we're going to be going with Mummy, Elf, Chaos Bolt. This is going to be interesting. And I'm hoping it's going to be exactly how I think it's going to be. So if you remember from the last run, we were doing some pretty nutso stuff. What with, uh, you know, the multiple long cooldown nukes. Or I guess the nuke combo. Lullaby plus Supernova is extremely overpowered. And I want to double down on it. And I know this is kind of a theme where I do a thing and, you know, I'm just doing a normal run. And I'm like, hey, what happens when I do this? And then I discover some stuff, but I only do the, like half the run that way. I really, really would like... Oh, this room has a uh, movement speed reduction. Well, that's a problem. But I would very much like to double down on what I did the last round and actually do the same thing, but with two. How do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like it would be pretty fun? I have no idea if it'd be fun or not. No concept whatsoever. But it does excite me, because it'd be kind of interesting to double down on double supernova, lullaby, and I don't know what else. But uh, essentially, the entire build would be four ultimates and then two, you know, hold type moves to kind of clear the way. And then what the, the ideal thing to do would be to um, have a bunch of long range type spells in escrow to use against bosses specifically because you can't really lullaby supernova most bosses it just, it's just not a viable thing but we're also in nightmare difficulty so uh this is, honestly it's probably gonna end in failure so first and foremost it does feel like not that i do less damage but it does feel like i kill things slower which is a concern it seems like most enemies have more health which is Inherently concerning. It looks like rats may be a little bit, little bit less so, but I am... Oh, shoot. So, those are Chaos Mages. And luckily we've got... We've got enough health around to probably keep us alive. But these guys are going to inevitably hit me. Oh, jeez, that's a plus one Chaos Mage. Oh, this is gonna suck a lot. Let's just avoid the shots. He's hitting me harder than I'm, uh, I'm hitting him. That is inherently concerning. I wonder if he has more health, too. I have no idea. And unfortunately, I can't ring around him because he's having the, uh, brilliant idea of actually sticking around to the corners. He also has longer range than I do. It's hard to tell. This is going to be kind of super suck. And I wish I saved my invincibility for this, actually, because unlike most enemies, you can't strafe fire. That Chaos Mage, they've got Chaos Bolt, it just doesn't work. I'm also slower. Uh, one, because we're the Elf. Two, because, well, what's this event room? Battle. Well, let's try it. Please don't be a Chaos Mage. Oh, right. I probably should have gone off to get that health pickup while we were there. Gah! Oh, that does a lot of damage. Note to self. Fear. <laughs> Fear is an appropriate response. I might actually lose this one purely because... I didn't think of actually giving myself adequate firepower to take on the, uh, the level. Oh, that'd be a problem. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. The crawler has decided to forget that I exist for a second. Ow. Okay, he's dead. What's this? Skeleton? Oh, that's encouraging. Honestly, I think we're going to be fine here. It's just a matter of survival at this point. Because whatever we fight is going to hurt us hard. And I need to pay more attention to how, f how close he is, because he moves a little bit faster, and me sitting still, I don't have enough knockback to mess with him. Also, I'm not accurate enough to kill him either. Well, I think I think we're going to have enough time, at the very least. It's just health, and everything like that. Okay, crush the skeleton. What's this one, zombie? Uh, zombie, zombie is kind of good, kind of bad. Yeah, it definitely seems like enemies do more damage, and, and uh, have more health than usual or than earlier difficulties, because I really feel like I'm just kind of whiffing at these guys, and it's not encouraging. Oh, it's a burrower. Do I have enough time to kill a burrower? I don't know. Okay. Note to self, watch out for the bite. That actually hurts a little bit. 
and Chaos Bolt. Despite the fact that I'm letting these guys get hella close, Chaos Bolt is not killing them nearly as fast as I'd like them to. I'm just gonna accept fate. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna go with movement speed. We're gonna need it along the way. Otherwise, we're going to get pretty much beasted. <sighs> it's bad when you're on nightmare difficulty and on the first level and you're already worried for your own life. And I think part of it is I've made some bad decisions and I also don't have any runes yet. Now, okay, we have one light rune, which could be used for something, but at the same time, might not be uh, terribly useful. I don't know. It's hard to say how things are going to turn out here. It really is. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how far we can get. And the problem is we are very hev heavily dependent on whether or not we even get an adequate amount of runes here. Because if we can't get anywhere close to the adequate number, we're pretty much just going to go dead in the water just sheerly based on lack of damage. Luckily, Chaos Bolt does do a fair amount, even on its own, and there are, there are, there is a fair amount of health pickups along the way, so we do have that all going for us. It's just a matter of, what do we get? So we get a Dark Rune. I wouldn't mind going for Dark Wind, or Black Wind. It's not a bad spell. It's not exactly the best for what we're doing here, uh, but it'd definitely be useful against certain types of bosses. I guess I'm really just trying to figure out how to build myself to fight bosses and yet also use double supernova lullaby. I guess that's only three slots and I don't think I need more than that. So, here's that. I guess the one, the one like long cooldown stream of purple particle spell, that's pretty solid and could, could potentially be very useful against a boss. I guess missing would be a problem, but a lot of bosses tend to be at least fairly behaved. They tend to put themselves in convenient locations for you. Now we do have the mummy invincibility already, but at the same time... Oh, hello. Shock rune. Uh, I'm not, not sure what I want to make. Double lightning was not bad. It was a really solid spell. I might do it again. I, I guess I'm just trying to decide what are good long-range spells for me to use. I forget that zombies move a lot faster. The longer they've been left alive, which, unfortunately... I'm not hitting these guys nearly as much as I'd like to. Okay. Looks like their speed caps out, though. But it takes a while. Okay. I was really hoping that Nightmare Mode would be, like, really hard. But you get enough pickups to kind of balance everything out. Because I guess it's one of those where it's like, I th I kind of wish... It's like, uh, Risk of Rain, actually, is a good example. Because I believe in Risk of Rain. Uh, yeah. So the way Risk of Rain works is, you know the higher difficulty you're on, yeah, the more health and damage the enemies have, but they also have... Uh, don't want to hang around the brain too long. Uh, they also tend to be more monsters, and they drop more money. So it actually ends up being kind of a balancing act, because, yes, there, there are a lot of enemies, and they're hard, and they may kill you, but at the same time, you actually have more cash sooner, so you can keep the overall difficulty lower, and get more items as a result. I think you might also get better drop rates. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But it's one of those where it's like, I, I guess I was just kind of hoping that the higher difficulty levels would actually be just crazier instead of truly just flat out harder. Oh well, it's not the end of the world one way or another. So let's just keep uh, keep on trucking. Still not finding the runes that I want. All, all, I mean, all I really need at this point is an entropy rune, and I'll be happy. Because that, that gives us double lightning, and that's a great holdover until we get what we actually want. Which is... Uh, I don't exactly know. I guess Supernova. We're not getting the runes for that either. Okay, the rats have been turned down a notch. Actually, so many notches that they're kind of worthless now. There's an air rune. All right, I'm just trying to think of spells that would be good specifically against the golem, whatever his name was. Mechanis? Probably. Wow, we already have a triple combiner. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive, actually. So, I guess we're getting stuff. It's just not the stuff we specifically need. Because I'd really, at this point, rather have a butt-ton of runes than a double combiner. I wonder what breaking a double combiner does. What's, this, what's it say? Doesn't say anything. Well, I'm not going to bust it up. So, what can I make? What have I never made before? Rune decks. Creatable spells. Undiscovered. Uh, don't want to use shock. So, water, air, speed. Yeah, why not? Water, air, speed. What's it make? Fatal Attraction. 
Huh. Okay, so Fatal Attraction. I'm gonna put it on the bar. I want to see what it does. But I get the feeling that it's going to be a terrible idea for me to use it. Oh, uh, I actually should switch it to a bumper so we don't have it on autocast. Because otherwise we're going to have some interesting problems. Okay, let's see what it does. Let's see how worthwhile it is. Fatal Attraction. So, I can see it being a really solid spell for the Dwarven run, actually. Because you can pretty much have 100% uptime on it. It's got a huge AoE. It messes with the enemy's uh, movement. And it hits them in nice ways. Okay, we're going a little lucky. Because, I don't know, that seemed to have helped us substantially the last time. Or it didn't help us at all. Maybe lucky, lucky is just a complete placebo. I have no idea. But, you know what? I'm just going to trust in the fact that it was what, you know, secured us that win. I really wish that the uh, Fatal Attraction actually... Oh yeah, that really does have a long cooldown. Or a short cooldown in comparison to the duration. Well... I guess it is kind of a nonsense spell to begin with. So, let's go with Double Lightning. Get Shameless. Not get Shameless. Grab the health. And we're pretty much good to go for a while. We now have the required damage. And uh, extra room levels from being an elf. So, generally things are going to die. Let's see if I can use Fatal Attraction. Nope. Well, I'll just kind of rely on these things. Hopefully I'll be able to replace what we've got as we go along. Okay, so we've... We've still got our Light Rune, all we need is an Earth. And then we can get Supernova, which is going to be a huge boon, especially if we can get it on the first level. There's no saying if we're going to or not, but here's hoping. So, uh, other spells that we could get. I wouldn't mind Elemental Helix. That would actually be a pretty good auto attack. I don't know, I, I guess I'm just trying to think of spells that are good for clearing out... I, and you know what? Elemental Helix wouldn't be very good. I might actually want that... Uh, that long range, you know, don't need to aim it very hard spell that I was kind of poo pooing a little while ago. But that would actually be a really good one to save up for, for the fi final boss, or just boss fighting in general. Because you wouldn't have to worry about hitting the boss, you could actually worry about just kind of aiming in the general direction. Yep, I'm just going to go invincible for this section. Take out the hermit, take it. There we go. And the rats have been uh, walloped. Fatal attraction. Eh, it works. It's got some interesting applications. So, uh, honestly at this point, I yeah, I know I use double lightning substantially, but at the same time, next to fusion, it's probably one of my favorite spells. It does crazy damage, and two at a time too, mind you. So if you can actually get both of those bolts to align, that hits enemies for quite a lot of damage. Okay, what do we got in here? Answers, I don't know. Well, let's use fatal attraction, a little bit of extra damage. There's a hermit over here. Probably should nuke his face. His face has been sufficiently nuked. So it looks like he gives a possible damage boost to the rats, but mostly he gives them a speed boost. Maybe health. Kind of hard to tell. But, yeah, taking out that hermit. Thanks for the advice to take out the hermit first. Actually really does help. Okay, and that's it for this floor, so let's let's go down. Uh, things are looking up-ish. Really, I'm just glad we got our hands on double lightning. Would I actually do the exact same build as last time? Uh... <laughs> Oh, we're already half. Oh, we're already part of the way there. It's tempting. I'm gonna go with cooldown reduction because the one part about the elf, we do have plus two percent everything, which does kind of suck. Oh well, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We'll definitely be fine. I don't know what I'm doing naysaying this game at this point. I, there's no, there's no telling where this run is going to go. Hello, that's a lot of fire guys right off the bat. So. First and foremost, I will say Prismatic Devil would be really useful for certain parts. I guess the thing is, Prismatic Devil isn't going to be nearly as useful as it normally would be, just because if we do do the Supernova thing, most enemies that are remotely close to us are already going to be dead. Purely because of Lullaby. Speaking of, I didn't actually remember what runes go into Lullaby. I don't remember. It was... Oh, it was like Dark and Air. I think it was only Dark and Air. Uh, is it... Dark, dark, air, or is it air, air, dark? Uh, it's air, air, dark. So, I think I already used an air rune. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, hit list. I'll bust up the rocks, and then we'll give it a go. Because the hit list, at the very least, seems possible with the way we're going. Oh, boy. Those are chaos mages, though. I'm going to finish the rest of the floor first, and we'll see what we can get. I wonder how hit list would work if you actually supernovaed everybody and killed them all. 
I have no idea. I'm just gonna... Well, take out the zombies, I guess. I'm trying to take out the swarmers, because the swarmers do stupid damage. But it was not giving me the option to. Oh, he's not dead yet. Jeez. Alright, well, let's kill the bandit. Bandit's dead. Everybody else dies, too. And there's a health pickup. Nice. Light, light runes, too. Yeah. So, I think what I'll try and do is, instead of going for the fully buffed up supernova, I think my goal is going to be go for the pair of supernovas first as well. Because as much as I'd like one very, very powerful supernova, I'd rather have two medium ones that I can use frequently. Makes more sense. Even though... Uh, yeah, let's not corner ourselves. That would be bad. Looks like we got a rat nest over here. Looks like rat nests on higher difficulties actually poop out more more rats as we go along too. Well, they're all dead, and we do more than enough damage to mitigate everything. That bandit hurts though. Well, luckily there's a health pack in the previous room. There's another dark rune. There's another health pack. Another light rune. It's like uh, dark and light today. Okay, let's go with excess energy. We're gonna be shooting fast enough anyway. Might as well make the most of it. Not actually sure if I needed to pick that one up, but at the same time, not a big... Oh, jeez. Really? Already? Well, this is a problem. That's some interesting spellage he's got going on there. Ow. Okay, so we're up against the big skeleton. I'm going to go inside that ring before it pops up again. And then what I'm going to do is go invincible for a second. And do as much damage to him in as short of a period of time as possible. Let's just go with the kill him and be done with it method. It works. So it looks like even the mini bosses get some extra attacks as they go up in difficulty. That's good to know. Something I'm going to have to be worried about. That would explain why the Fireborn Voidling was able to do so much damage to me the previous round. Despite my, you know, extreme OP-ness. Okay. That's this one. Living Statues. That one's super, super doable. It's like hitless, but easier. Because you have two targets. And... Uh, the other targets don't shoot at you. We do have a big crawler mama coming after us, but at the same time... Oh, wait. Weird. I'm gonna go with... Oh, defense or extra health. Yep, hello. My spell stopped shooting. That was frustrating for a second, or at least they definitely didn't feel like they were shooting for a second there. Okay. Well, let's go this direction. And we get a wind hunter. He's using my own magic against me. Let's just... Keep casting. I was trying to... Oh, I am using fatal attraction. It's just not helping as much as I'd like to. So I'm really hoping we can get uh, Soul Absorb or whatever. But at the very least, the extra luck is probably going to push us a little bit longer. I guess it's also one of those where I'm not expecting to get very far in this run. I'm expecting to die horribly. And maybe if we get our combo going fully, then we'll be okay. But as it stands, oh, that, we might have just gotten Lullaby. Unless Lullaby has a different moon combo that I remember. But I think it was Air Air Dark considering I don't actually remember it having any other any other runes in the combo. Oh, hey, I actually already have the, yeah, lullaby. So there's one, and I'm actually just going to dump a lot of dark runes into it. Perfect. And then our inventory is not nearly as full as it was like five seconds ago. So, where are we going? Uh, we're going this way. We got one heart to pick up and at least one room to do. We do have hit list, which is tempting, especially because I can put them to sleep for at least a couple of seconds. It is tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if I can murder them. Okay. Oh, that's convenient. Lots of pain, though. Okay. Let's... So I'm going to have to... Jeez. Ah, failed it anyway. Well, let's just take him out and... Get hit by that anyway. Ow! That that really sucked. I should not have gone in there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, trying to do hit list with a pair of extraordinarily inaccurate we uh, weapons, inaccurate spells, not exactly the uh, the best. Oh, well, not the end of the world either. So we've got one room. No idea what's going to be in here. It looks like it's just rats. Let's turn this on. Take out the bandit. I was wondering... Oh, there's a pair of hermits. I was wondering about that. Could be... Oh, okay. There's there's just two. So if we're lucky here, I would very much like to get my hands on some parts. Looks like we get at least one. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to go with Quick Laner. Oh, beautiful. Two. So we're going to be leaving this floor half health, which is bad, but... 
think we'll be fine. I'm tempted to go with... I'm tempted to go with Prismatic Devil. It is a very solid accompaniment spell. Yeah, I'm going to. I am an uncreative person. So we're, I, I think we're actually going to be mirroring our build from the last run. And I, I'll try and mix up some of the spells, but really what I'm trying to do is have double supernova so I'm not even so I don't even have to use the basic spells like so I don't even have to attack my main goal is never attacking main goal is just exploding everything and then not thinking about it ever ever again so this way we're gonna have the melee covered so certain bosses are definitely going to have a weakness to that bombardier specifically uh, but after that probably gonna want a pair of long range type spells and I, th I think those teleporting type spells might actually be a really good addition. Here's the question. Okay, good. Because Prismatic Devil is actually messing with the cooldown of uh, Double Lightning, Double Lightning is shooting a little bit slower. A little bit. Not that much. And this way it lets me cast all my other spells, which is exactly what I was hoping for. But the reason why I went for Prismatic Devil, even though we used, it, we used this pair of attack spells in conjunction last time, this pretty much keeps everybody off my back without me having to worry about it. I'm going to go with defense. We're, we're going to want to reduce as much damage as we can take here. Now, the other thing I could potentially do is a fortify type build. But that, I don't know. I, I think I prefer to keep a fortify build for a different type of run. hope this event room is something a little bit more benign. What is it? Oh, it's escort. So in this case, what I'm going to do, bust up all of these, because it looks like we got a couple of Chaos Mages. I'm I'm just going to go around for a second, bust up as many as I can, or as many boxes as I can. Okay, that's all of it. So what I want to do is go find an Earth Rune or two. If I could find two Earth Runes, that would be the most ideal. Okay, so we got a bunch of Knights here, which are a problem. We also have a bunch of Golems, which are equally a problem. I gotta slow down and strafe attack these guys. Luckily, we do have a pretty good handle on melee combat. Go figure. And that that does give us a huge perk, but it also does force us to fight those knights in close range. At least Double Lightning does have slightly long enough range that I don't have to worry about too much. I think he's got some kind of tase ability. So no earth runes yet. If I can get those earth runes, we're golden. If I can't, we're gonna be in trouble-ish. Let's use Fatal Attraction, might as well. A little bit of extra damage. Let's actually Lullaby. Okay, note to self. Fatal Attraction plus Lullaby equals... Uh, lullaby gets disabled. Good to be wary of. Gonna have to be slightly concerned about that. So we're getting enough Fire Runes. Honestly, triple... So that'd be nuts. Triple Supernova, I think we'd be pushing it. It would let me wreck entire rooms, but it does seem like it would be kind of worthless. Or really just excessive. So, luckily Fatal Attraction does actually seem to have its perks. It it does let me corral enemies, especially with the way I move. Yeah, bam. And it actually has a fair amount of pull, which surprises me a little bit. Okay, uh, we got the boss. Who are we fighting? Looks like it's Dash. Well, I say this every single time I fight Dash. It, uh, I think, but if, if I had a build to fight ba Dash... It would probably be this one. We've got a fair amount of knockback from Prismatic Devil. Not to mention it keeps all of the bats and the, the speedsters, whatever they're called, off of my ass. And as long as I'm going around in circles, I generally don't have to worry about getting hit either. And boy does Prismatic Devil and Double Lightning do a lot of damage. Those, those circles in the center, though, do kind of mess with my face. Luckily... We've almost got him down. Beautiful. Okay, it's a speed, uh, speed, sir, dash. There we go. Dash is no contest. And I think we get a triple combiner. So precise movements. Eh. Primal mastery, great wisdom. Oh. No. Hmm. I guess I'll just go with inventor. I'm going to be making triples anyway. So what can I make? Rune decks, creatable spells, undiscovered. That's a fair amount. Now... Air runes, I kind of want to hold on to, but they're not that big of a deal. Water runes, I don't really need at all. I could probably spare one of the fire runes. Well, let's water and dark. Yeah, water, fire, dark. 
see what that makes. It makes oil spill. Cone of oil sprays from the caster. Enemies cone takes damage over time, moves slower, and taking increased damage from critical strikes. Cooldown is kind of slow. I'm going to get rid of Fatal Attrude. No, I'm going to do that. I don't know. It's a decent melee-ish type spell that I can use for at least a little while until I replace it with something else. Unless it actually turns out that it's really good, and then I'm not going to be opposed to using it. But this way we can lullaby enemies. And that's a lot of speed. St oh, jeez, that's a lot of knights. That's a concern. Okay, well, they're dead anyway. Ow. Note to self, go invincible when that happens. Don't just kind of take it like a wuss. All right, or I guess not so much a wuss. I guess taking it would be the less wussy thing to do. But you guys know what I mean. So, storage room. Thank you, storage room. So we really need that earth rune. We don't need it like ASAP, but we definitely need it soon. Because without it, this entire build is worthless. And yes, this game does have the unfortunate possibility then we could actually never find one. RNG does sometimes work like that. I really hope it doesn't. Because I really want to see double Nova in action. And we also have enough light runes to actually boost their range a fair amount. Which would be very nice. Uh, I'm hoping it happens. If it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. Also looks like we've got three hearts sitting around, which is fairly encouraging. Means we're going to be... Oh, we want to go over to the right. It means we're going to be Hale and Hardy going down to teal, uh, tier two. Oh, well, there's one. Not what I was in intending. I did not mean to go invincible, but at the same time, it doesn't matter that much, because that's a shock rune. All I have to do is just kind of, like, circle myself in the center here and do all right, because he's got the rotating dark move that kind of hurts. I don't have to worry about it that much. Let's just speedsters. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay. Let's just take the lazy approach. Uh, lullaby. As a, lullaby is a very good spell. At first, when I used it, I was like, all right, cool, it puts everybody to sleep, I can wail on them. It doesn't actually work that way. That's fine by me. So what we're going to do, make our first supernova, get rid of Fatal Attraction. It's got interesting applications, but it will mess up lullaby if I use it, which is bad. So what we're going to need is heavy cooldown reduction and eventually just the second supernova. So let's go down. And right bumper. Everyone, or almost everything dies. Not all of them, because I haven't boosted its range yet. And what I think I might do is actually boost its range. I might as well prioritize the first one while I have it, just because we haven't found any other earth runes. So I'm going to boost its range a little bit. It looks like I can put two into it before I need to switch to other stuff. I can also get mindlessness already, which is a serious consideration. Yeah, let's do it. I didn't really use Mindlessness the last time, and worst comes to worst, it just sits around as a second thing. So, goodbye, Chaos Bolt. I'm probably not going to use Mindlessness uh, immediately. I'm just going to keep it around because it gets rid of some rune space. Okay. And luckily, we're still on Tier 1, so I can pretty much clear levels without having to worry about too much. You know, I, I, I don't actually have to worry about using the Supernova con combo constantly. All I have to do is just wrecking ball into things. Beautiful. Oh, there's a doctor. Come to think of it, the last run we did, I don't actually know if I ever got the doctor perk. I don't think I did. Well, that's actually really cool. I'd forgotten about that. Okay, so we're full health. No second earth rune. Which surprises and disappoints me a little bit, but at the same time, we are going down to tier 2 with one supernova and lullaby. We already have uh, ha most of the build complete. I'm just trying to think of how to complete it the rest of the way, because... By the end, we're going to have two supernovas. We're going to have two more spell slots, I think. No, we're going to have one extra spell slot. So currently, I'm probably reserving it for the second supernova. And there's always mindlessness if I really wanted to go that direction. But I could also go for a second type of attack spell, too. I'm going to go with earth levels. Uh... No, I'm going to go with Entropy levels. Two of my spells used that already, and I don't need to buff Supernova that much. 